Uh, the Easter season is a time of sacraments in our church, an important way that the risen Jesus stays with us today. It should be a time of first communions and deepening our participation in the sacramental life of the church, but the current pandemic has disrupted church worship today. So when will we be able to go to church again for Mass and receive the sacraments as before? We're not sure. For the time being, we're living in a world of little signs, so maybe we should pay more attention to them. I'm confined these days to my room, which fortunately looks out at a beautiful garden. And I have a merry garden, a small merry garden in my window, some succulents, uh, cactus, and a picture of the ancient icon of Mary and her child that's honored in the Church of St. Mary Major in Rome. The icon was carried through the streets of Rome during a plague in the time of St. Gregory the Great in the sixth century, and the plague ended. So Pope Francis prayed before this icon a few weeks ago. I know we have to hope in science to give us tools to deal with this global tragedy, but we also need to use the tools of faith if older experiences teach us anything, a pandemic like this can make us distrustful of the earth itself. In the beginning, God saw the earth and all that was in it, and he said it was good. The earth is still good, blessed by the risen Christ. Some weeks ago, I planted some seeds in my merry garden next to the succulents and the cactus, and they're pushing through the earth and are starting to grow and I have no idea what to do with them. But to me, there are signs of something bigger, little signs, but right now little signs are all the signs we have. So I pray here. Lord God, keep our world safe as you promised Noah after the flood. Have mercy, O oh Lord. Lord, keep our homes and our families from all harm as you promised the children of Israel in Egypt. Have mercy, Lord. And Lord, heal our sick, help the elderly and the poor. Have mercy, O Lord. The Lord, help doctors and nurses to heal and caregivers to tend those in need. Have mercy, O Lord. Lord, help us to find medicines to bring life to the weak and the afflicted. Have mercy, O Lord. Lord, we pray that the governments of our world come together to take care of our human family. Have mercy, O Lord. And pray for us, O Holy Mother of God, that we may be made worthy of the promises of Christ. Amen. <music>